Hey, Kenneth, Captain Say. Hello. Hey, guys. Permission yeah. to come aboard. Come, come, come. I hate to disappoint you, Misha, but that looks very much like an aeroplane. It's a ship, and that man is the captain. Got it? What is this machine, and why can't I call it an aeroplane? This is FH8. This is a wig craft. It stands for wing in ground effect. So what it means is the air pushed off the bottom of the wing hits the water and bounces back up, hits the wing, makes it much more efficient. Wanna have a go? Yeah. Let's do it. A machine that's built to use ground effect. Brilliant. We are ready for takeoff. Power up. I'm worried. I don't know what kind of machine I'm in or what it's going to do. Relax, Max. It stays just above the water. It can't fly any higher than that. Now we're up. Yeah! The only power this machine needs is a 550 horsepower car engine, which makes it a true hybrid. Part car, part ship, part plane, reaching close to 200 kilometers per hour at top speed. As the wig craft is propelled forward, apart from the lifting force created above the upper wing surface, the shape of the wing, an inverted triangle, traps the air, creating a cushion of high pressure underneath the machine. At a certain speed, low air pressure over the wing and the high pressure bed of air underneath will allow takeoff. I could imagine seeing these all over the oceans. Make it more efficient, make it lighter, come up with the right regulations. It just seems better than just boats going slow. This machine is the ultimate commuter vehicle between islands. Saves on chartered flights, replaces boats. Okay, time for the ship to, um, land. Here we go. Brace yourself. That's not very civilized. Stopping Whoa. sideways. I think I've established the problem with ground effects. I think they might need a rudder for that kind of landing.